All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm with uh, Michael Jensen, a.k.a. Brave Jayhawk. We're going to go over uh, week what happened in week eight of Survivor Pool uh, contest, and then we're going to go on to week nine. Um, once again, we haven't really talked about our plan for this week yet, but we'll spend a little time talking about last week. Uh, my, my last week was a little, was much less interesting uh, than, than Jayhawks, and quite honestly, I had was was very I had very few people caring or rooting for me as opposed to uh, to brave Jayhawk. We had the whole we had my whole true DFS Discord sweating sweating Jayhawk. Uh, whatever we'll we'll get to that. For those of you that missed it, um, we do do a follow up uh, podcast last week where Mike went Mike Mike and I did a little more more deep diving and work on his on one of his pools, um, and uh, that didn't get posted until later just to kind of maintain the integrity of his entries. I didn't want people front running him or, or gaming him in some way. So we'll talk about that as well. But for me, I mean, just, I, I just had my one, um, my one kind of single pick slash hybrid pool, which goes to doubles in week 17 and 18. If they're down to a certain, if they still have a certain number of people left, very unlikely it ever goes to doubles. Um, it started at 4,500 people. It was down to 108. I actually went, I was between Philly and Atlanta, two completely different ways to play. Uh, and I did go with Philly in the end. I avoided uh, Atlanta, which which could have provided quite a bit of excitement uh, to tell your grandchildren about. Um, <laughs> I ended up rooting against them, which was it, it created the frustration in a different way. Um, so I, I you know, advanced with Philly, as did uh, everybody, everybody in my pool, pretty much. So it was just basically a reshuffling. So essentially, by taking Philly, I sort of lost equity by doing it that way. But that's just the way it went. Uh, uh, why don't you, uh, uh, why don't you go over what your last week was and, uh, and, uh, I'll give the floor over to you. Um, w w first quite long question. What were the conditions for when double picks trigger in weeks 17 and 18? How, how, like what, 30, what's the target? That have to be 30 people left. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I probably won't get there. Um, I'll start with the good news first. Um, 28 left. Uh, my partner, I've won this pool twice. It's a local Kansas city pool. Um, if there's more than one left at the end of the season, advance the playoffs. And if you have not used a team during the regular season, you can use them twice in the post in the postseason. Otherwise you can only use them once. Um, the first year we won it, we went double new England in the playoffs and we scooped the last piece of that after two chops uh, when Russell Wilson threw that interception um, on the end zone. So that was nice. Um, and then we chopped it with a friend a few years ago in New Orleans uh, lost. There's uh, two of us left. Um, so in that one, th that was very – we spent very little time discussing our picks for that pool. When you have that many entries, there's – it's just, it's standard single picks. Otherwise, there was no need, you know, for us to get, you know, you know gambly or try to set something up. We, uh, we decided to save all of our Dallas – um for week 14 i'll get more into that later for my other pools we went to philadelphia and one buffalo um obviously advanced with both of them easily one person got knocked out on in indianapolis we'll also discuss that later and three got through on atlanta so um i lost a, uh, probably didn't lose much equity because most people went uh dallas or, or philadelphia but you know wasn't expecting much in that one. The The real action uh, were in my other two pools. Um, I think I said this last week or the week before where I said I, I've never spent more time thinking about a pick than this particular week. But I did even more this past week. I, I think we spent seven, seven or eight hours um, really trying to figure out which way to go. Um, for which one? For the Maybe, other or for the circle? For, for the for, for the other two, for, okay. uh, ma mainly for circa. Um, so, just to uh, delay it out again, because uh, I, I I I have some notes here. The fun part about these pools is, you know, in, very interesting situations pop up. You can't even plan for this stuff. Um, you know, there, there's so many different angles. Um, but we saw something fantastic, a, you know, a really great opportunity and pounced on it um, in that we had three big favorites this week. Two of them play on Thanksgiving. 
which really makes it interesting because those two teams have really good plays before Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving. Um, but most people will use both of those teams after th uh, once Thanksgiving hits, meaning if you have either of those teams remaining after week 12, you have a really good opportunity to be on a you know unique pick that also will happen to be the highest favorited team in that particular week. And the best example of that was Dallas uh, for week 14. Um, if, if you can sort by week 14, this is the week that we targeted um, for having the greatest opportunity to gain the most EV possible. Um, you got Buffalo on the top. I mean, there's a very good chance no one has Buffalo remaining once we get to week 14. And, you know, if someone does, it's not going to be very many people. And, this, and really the same because, goes. Because, because as, as you know, for those who have been following along, the pool he's talking about with Circa requires you to play one, uh, one team on Thanksgiving Day. And Buffalo is going to be a 14 point or so favorite against Correct. Detroit on that day. So it's it's very likely that whoever has ball as it's very likely that most people who have Buffalo available are going to use those. So if you can plan to to not use Buffalo and save them for 14 is what he's getting at, you're gonna get like a, a very, very unavailable Buffalo team as an enormous favorite, which we do yeah. this is an enormous hammer. Between that and Dallas, those are two just incredible teams to have at your disposal for 14. Yeah, it's, it's really among – I mean, I don't have a list of the top ten. I don't want to sound too cliche like I, I, I'm on ESPN, but it really looked like one of the best opportunities that I've ever seen in the, in the 12 years I've been doing these pools. Um, because after Dallas – Dallas is the same way. I mean, a lot of people – I you know, it was obvious we're going to use them in eight. And a lot of people, if unless they go underdog, they're going to use them in 12. And if they don't – they're going to be one of the, the teams used in 13 as well. So, you know, in Buffalo, even an even better example, in week 11, there's only two really big favorites. And after those two big favorites are two teams that no one's going to have anyway. If you can sort by week 11, after Buffalo and Baltimore, it's Cincinnati and Philly. Most people won't have Philadelphia left by that point. And, you know, so, some people will have Cincinnati, and we'll get to that uh, that st strategic element in a little bit. Uh, but Buffalo is – a lot of people are going to want to save Buffalo and Circa for Thanksgiving, but they're going to get to 11. And if they don't have Baltimore available, they're going to be like, oh, well, i got to at least get to Thanksgiving first, and they'll, they'll pick Buffalo and 11. So our, our target was Buffalo on Thanksgiving. Uh, and notice the tense I'm using here. Um, and in 14, we want we wanted Dallas. Um, but there, but know, there was there, there were other variations you were talking about also where you were considering taking New England on Thanksgiving, right? Uh, correct. If, if we had two entries remaining, right. um, we were going to take even the worse New England gets, the more the more I like taking New England. Um, you know, if they drop past a seven point dog, then it's like eh, I don't know, it gets a little right. sketchy. Um, because saving, you know, that Buffalo for 14 or 16 would be highly beneficial. I mean, this pool's not going to end on Thanksgiving. It's not going to end no. on week 13. It, it, it would require. It, it, could end on Thanksgiving. It, it could end on Thanksgiving if, if uh, Jared Goff shows up and, uh, and gets yeah, the big but, dub. But, 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 some, but th there's already one player that has already taken all three favorites. So, like, oh, okay. he's going to – that player's going to have to take – I mean, people will take the dogs anyway. No one's going to take Detroit, but – um, there will be people more or less forced onto the Giants or 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 or, uh, or New England. One per at least one person already is boxed in. So if you look at fourteen, everyone thinks, well, okay, well I don't need Dallas there. I'll just drop to a lower team. And this is what we saw. What are you going to drop to? The third biggest favorite is Philadelphia. We're not going to have them by then. We're going to we're going we're going to use them in nine or ten or eleven. The next team, Baltimore. Okay, we're using Baltimore in eleven or we would save them for 16 or 17. Um, Kansas City, well, I mean, we're probably going to use them in 9 or 10 or save them for 15 through 17. The teams that are, you know, dropping past the top two teams are very good teams that not only are they going to be very unavailable for me, 
but they're going to be extremely unavailable for the average entry left. Uh, Minnesota is going to be very little available after Thanksgiving. Tennessee is going to be a is a, is going to be a highly picked team, but that's a team you know that's really going to open up for sixteen because yes. so many people are going to have to drop to Tennessee and fourteen if they're sorting by biggest favorite. Right, um, and people do do that uh, because of what happened with Atlanta this week, and then Cincinnati very little available. I mean, basically you're looking at people are going to be taking Seattle or Tennessee, and you know there's an opportunity. Wow, I can take Dallas versus Houston at 11 plus if Dax healthy and most of the pool is going to be a very large percent of the pool is going to, have to drop to Tennessee or Seattle. And I'm going to have like a nine point gap of, uh, you know, point spread. So, you know, so, you know, so, 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 so for those that are trying to follow along this, 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 this discussion, right. What, what we spent a lot of time talking about last week and Thursday as well was, was a, a conceptual dilemma that, that Jayhawk and his partners were dealing with go last week. The idea was that whether they, in their, in their heads, they were like, okay, we could either play Dallas now, or we can drop down to, to, to the lesser favorite teams and save Dallas for a very, very profitable hammer in 14. And, and, and that's why, that's why he's continuing, you know, why, why Michael's talking about, you know, how important Dallas is in 14 is because this was, this was a major decision, you know, and and and, it, and then there was once he decided, and then we'll, he'll get into this. But then once you decide, and this was actually pretty sharp. Like what? Once you decide that you do want to drop down, then it's a question of once you decide that, how much do you want to drop down, and how Correct. pure do, how pure do you want to be? Because what 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 he very astutely pointed out last week, which I I didn't quite I. Not, not that I didn't quite get because I wasn't going to do that because I wasn't even in this pool anymore. Was that once you do decide to drop down, that might not be the end of the work. You know what I mean? Correct. It, it might not be okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and just play Atlanta. You know, whatever. Because what 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 Michael brought up to me, and this was his seminal point, was I want to know just how many people are going to be dropping because I believe that everybody that does drop is just going to sort by 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 top favorite that's available and just blindly take Atlanta. And if I'm going to drop, I'm going to go for even additional equity by, by avoiding Atlanta as well on the drop and, and going to somebody else. And that that's actually very, very third and fourth level thinking because a lot of people just do put in the work to say, okay, do I need to drop teams? And then what they do is they become part of those people that we describe, the people that want to save. So then they'll say, okay, I'll just take the top rated team of what's available. And what these guys did, was was go to that next level and say, okay, given the fact that we're now dropping, can we now like reduce the pool? Let's just say, which is these people. How would we play knowing it was just be, these people we're dealing with? And so they went, they, they took a little bit less of their favorite, or they considered, right? I, that's what you did in a minute. Take a little bit of a less of a favorite and and get incredible leverage specifically on the Atlanta people, you know, over that, that yeah, over that yeah, group, that, over yeah, that group. Exactly. So that 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 was like their seminal decision. So so why don't I'm trying to think of whether I want to interrupt you yet. Um, you no, know, you know, go through again. So go through the rest of your process of how you got to your teams. Then, before, then, then I'll then I'll ask you a couple of questions. Yeah. So the the first was aside. You know, like, like you know, I, I went way too. Basically, I was trying to illustrate how important Dallas was. Yeah. And if we're go, basically what we realized is we're going to have to drop to Tennessee or Seattle anyway in fourteen for for our mapping. If we're going to drop from you know, a Dallas at 12 to a three or four point favorite anyway, let's just get it over with and do it right now. Um, you know, it, you know, yes, things can change. And one of these other teams could become a bigger favorite, but most of the teams I can't take anyway, if they become a bigger favorite, I can't take Minnesota or Kansas. I'm saving those teams for the, for the end game. So we just ruled Dallas out. Dallas is gone. Uh, Buffalo uh, Thanksgiving, they're gone. Philadelphia, um, it was the most used of that group, you know, use them at the end, use them at 10, you know, when they've been used in eight and nine. So very easy to rule out the other teams. Atlanta was a simple, you already illustrated it. People are going to sort by point spreads and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but I wanted to gain leverage over that subgroup. And I, and I, I don't know if I said it on the second podcast, but my thought was there'd be at least 25 people that would drop total, including our entries. 
And I thought the most it would be would be 35%. I knew it wouldn't be, but I thought it should be. It was, uh, I think, 24 people dropped, half of which took Atlanta, um, which is, and I, and I think I said 10% of the people would take Atlanta in the pool. So I actually, I hit that number too. So our next step, like you said, was we wanted to gain as much leverage as possible over the group of people that did not take Buffalo, Dallas, and Philadelphia. Because if they're not taking those teams, that means, A, they don't have very many of them left, but there's going to be a couple of them that have them. And I want those people to be knocked out, and I don't want to be with them. I, I want to try to get on a unique team. So if Atlanta loses, that's half, half the people – if, if – if, uh, if all three of the favorites win and then some of these like Miami and Atlanta lose, that means it, what it required to advance was taking one of the top three or taking one of the few smaller teams that won. And that's how you gain equity going forward is on the Atlanta people losing because the ones that tried to save those big teams are not, are, are now out. So we we had a our group started with five teams that we were working with um seattle um miami new england indianapolis jacksonville i don't know if i said tennessee so the the, the way we came i'm gonna go back we, to week eight of my survivor grid here so yeah okay. yeah then we, and then we can I'll, I'll do that too and then we can just go through like why we eliminated certain teams um some of them were some of them were very easy. Like we we actually really wanted to take Miami, um, and I'm I'm glad we didn't because it would have backfired. Oh, we would have won, but our strategy would have backfired somehow. I, but uh, the reason we didn't take Miami is in Week Twelve for the main Week Twelve slate, we do not have San Francisco available. We're not and we're not going to take that. Da- uh, we're not going to take Kansas City or Philadelphia. We're, we're probably not going to have them. Or we're going to save them. So we were going to have to drop to like the Jets or the Colts um, or or Washington, like three, four point favorites, if we were to take Miami. And then we're losing like I don't know a touchdown of a point spread. And it's like, eh, you know, we we liked it because we thought no one would do it for that reason um somehow they were picked four times um there's one player with six entries left he went three da- he had no philly available he went three dallas and three miami which really which really surprised us um yeah the miami the miami love was surprised me a little bit as well i, I thought miami was a really good pick I, I really thought there's a chance maybe one person would do it because Everyone w- looks at Thanksgiving, and they're going to look at the, the parallel week with it. I mean, Miami yeah, was but, 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 you know, Miami you know, was vastly underpicked in week seven. Uh, we yeah, took Miami you know, in seven. You know, you know what? But you know what's going to happen is that in week twelve, Miami's going to be just like insane chalk. I mean, like yeah, but but what we decided was my one of my main partner wanted to take Miami. I talked him out of it because I'm like, listen, Jesse, I know we're going to eat some chalk here, but. Our 13, 14, 15, 16 right. stretch is going to be the absolute super nuts if we get there. Right. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, why not eat some chalk if we have the absolute best run out? Yeah. And all we're doing is taking like a three and a half point favorite over a two, you know, like, like you know, in your sacrifice, you know, yeah, it sucks when you take Miami and they lose and Washington football team wins. And, you know, then you're in a better spot. But, you know, it, you got to pick and choose, and and, I, and we I said we at least have to leave it as an option. So we we got rid of Miami, um, and then uh, let me see the next Minnesota completely off the board. I mean it would have been fun to take them. I didn't think anyone would take them, but you know we would never take them on Thanksgiving. But they got we have plans for them for thirteen, fifteen, or sixteen. So you know we just can't take them. Um, the next one was uh, we we use Cincinnati. New England, I also really liked, except for the fact that we wanted to be able to have them for Thanksgiving. This was tough. This was our third favorite team after we finalized our list. Um, you know, this, 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 this was tough, but the reason we didn't take them really wasn't necessarily because of 
Thanksgiving, it was because of week nine. And, and we'll get to that when we have, we talk do our week nine strategy yep. to set up the absolute nut run out. We had to have new England available. Um, and, you know, to, to preserve our, to, to be able to hold Kansas did, city. Did, for did, both, Kansas did both of your circus um, burn Cincy? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that, so we had to roll out new England because we knew we were going to take them in nine or Thanksgiving, we, you know, a- almost mandatory. Um, so that left, well, that left the losers. Um, and I'll, I'll discuss why we really liked these picks. We, we've, we took Indianapolis and Jacksonville. There are 125 entries remaining. We were the only two entries oh, that got hang on, hang on. Before you get there, t- tell me how you got past Seattle before you can tell me how you Oh, got- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So originally, we liked Jacksonville and Seattle. Um, I, we thought that Seattle, you know, might be you know, a little bit picked, but it felt a little – felt a little bit better um but you know uh eric pointed out to me and and, and one of my other partners did as well we you know we, there's some questionable you know question of whether you know lockett or and or metcalf would play and uh picks are due at six pst so you know that that just automatically rules them out um it, it'd be really dumb to take a team that and you know maybe three or four people people take right. and then they end up be, being a pick em. i mean that's just to take that risk is, is, is just not worth it. Um, so that, that's how we, you know, that, that's how we got rid of Seattle and, and really it just left, it just left two teams really. I mean, it left Indianapolis and Jacksonville. I, uh, they Jackson, the reason we like them is you're, you're going to like this. Uh, one of my new, one of my terminologies, but I'll start with Jacksonville. You look at the season, there's a lot of white boxes out there. You just don't need them. Uh, it, I, yeah. There's my, my, my entries are, our entries are so strong. We're never going to have to like drop to a situation where we're taking them. So um, it, it's, it's a completely worthless team and it's their best game the rest of the season. So, uh, and it's like, oh, that'd be cool if, uh, you know, we won the London game to start the day. Um, not that that played into it. I actually didn't want to do that, uh, but you know, it is what it is. The last one's Indianapolis. Um, this one felt real nasty. I mean, this is, you know, they're three point favorites. You know, they're playing a team that, you know, Heineke's like whatever. Um, but they're playing a guy who's never, you know, thrown a pass in the NFL. Um, Indianapolis did not pass the vomit test. Um, just thinking about picking them, you know, made me want to throw up. And because of that, I knew with almost certainty no one else would take them because I, I knew if it felt that bad to take them. And I had to do quite a bit of convincing to one of my partners. He really wanted Seattle. I mean, he might even took them anyway, just had a, even though those, those players are questionable, he just did not want to take Indianapolis. He knew it was the right pick. He just couldn't stomach it. So I said, dude, like we have to take it because if you feel that sick about it and we're thinking of this from a, from an analytical standpoint, no one else has taken them. And if we get on unique teams, we have an opportunity to, you know, it, if, if we win for every other loss in this subgroup, we're going to gain an advantage over the rest of the field because there'll be less people remaining that have more Buffalo, Dallas, and Philadelphia. Um, the, you know, we submit our picks. We go Indianapolis, Jacksonville. The picks are released, and it was the absolute nuts. I mean, I mean, like we're the only ones on Indianapolis. We're the only ones on Jacksonville. Atlanta was ten percent picked. I think there were uh, there were four Miami, three Seattle, two two or three Tennessee. Um, it was perfect. You know, it. it uh, you know, so so it, let me so let me let, let me now let me now talk to you. So so. so. Yeah. You know, as as you guys probably don't, I mean, no, I mean, like 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 Mike and I are not partners in anything. We don't share anybody or interest or anything, and not even in the same pool or anything like that. I I, I respect his opinion. He respects mine. Just from, but we don't know each other that well. You know, we just know yeah. each other just from being around or whatever. And you know, I, I I had some thoughts on his on on their approach, but you know what? They're they're they're, they're you know, he has a brain trust similar to the way I do. And, and it's important to respect the dynamic of, of, the, of, of, of someone else's, you know, process or whatever it is. But I just, I just wanted to, to, to share my concerns with, with, for, with you for your approach 
uh, for a mm-hmm. couple of things. Um, so first of all, the the idea, like when you first told me that you were considering playing Dallas, I was, I, I and again, like, because my, my, my partner, Jack, and I talk about this a lot, like, meaning, like, we're out of it. So we're like, oh, my God, if we had, we're still alive, what would we be planning on doing? We're, we're just kind of like, yeah. And and we never in, in a million years would have thought of taking Dallas because we, like you, would have been just as grinding the, the number week 14. You know what I mean? Like to just yeah. be there, whatever. But in our heads and in my heads, OK, to accomplish that, there's and, and you skipped over this for, for like two seconds. Both we spoke about it a couple of times and, and in, in the postmortem, there would probably be no universe that we didn't would not take that. We would probably take Philly like a hundred percent of the time. Okay. And, and and this is and this is the thing, all right. This 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 was my 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 what I was thinking about. Like you had a pretty strong entry, right? And, and we, we could map it out, but I'll let you finish. Right, we, 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 right, 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 right. So again, I don't remember exactly who you had, but 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 we would have thought, and this is what I we and I was and, and honestly, when I was talking to Jack, he's like, I said, you know, uh, Jayhawks doing they're, they're probably going to do this. He's like, there's no way they're doing that. They're going to pl- end up taking Philly. I'm like, they're not taking any Philly. Okay. They're either going to take Dallas or they're going to drop down. Um, and if you're going, I mean, you're setting it up for a really, really nice hammer in 14. I presume you'll still have Kansas city available for 15. Right. And you have the, you have the ability to push Baltimore back if you want. And, and I thought that Philly just, just just did did the trick without subjecting yourself to any risk to get you what you needed to do now now again if everything's kind of a push and pull which is why which is what makes survivors such an awesome puzzle like yeah you don't yeah. really know what the answer is and so like i don't know like if it were the way i was thinking about like your path it would have been something like philly and a um Something like again, I forget you. I forgot that you didn't have Cincy in nine, but but yeah, some, yeah, some, that, some, that, something that, that, something in nine, yeah. you know, like New England or 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 something like that. Mm-hmm. And in ten, right? I know that Philly's a, a a really really strong play in ten, but but and, and I know that you guys took Tampa, which makes it a little tougher, right? Because in in our world, we we had Tampa available, so we would have we would have played Philly with Tampa that's left to go. But I was just wondering, like, in my head, I'm like, is, isn't life just a little easier to take Philly now, take the Giants in 10, and then just, just proceed on, proceed onward? And, and, and that, that was my first comment. And you could talk to me about that in a second. Yeah. And then the second piece was when you got down to those, bottom, those bottoms, the re- listen, it was a tough call what to do with Seattle. The thing about the Indianapolis play that 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 didn't sit too well with not because of the rookie quarterback, not any of that stuff, was just because I thought they were just such a strong play in eighteen that that I would want to try to save that. And the other thing is that, like you mentioned, if God forbid you had to do something gross in twelve, at least Indianapolis was 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 a viable option in twelve. So it wasn't like that. I thought Indianapolis was particularly poor or whatever this week. I, I in my again again. When when Jack and I talked, but we were in our heads like just make sure we have Indianapolis for eighteen. You know what I mean? Like Indianapolis eighteen, Indianapolis eighteen. There, like Indianapolis is almost like a, a, a mandatory fade like every week in our board. You know what I mean? So yeah. that, that was my issue. Why, why don't you talk to me a little bit about more about Philly and also a little mm-hmm. bit more if you consider the Indianapolis? Thing. Yeah. So for eighteen, we have Green Bay penciled in. Okay. Fair enough. Um, with Fair enough. much better chance that they would, I don't know, that's all subjective, but also we had Green Bay as a possibility for Christmas. Um, so they're all very good points on, on Philadelphia. Um, we, all right, where's the best place to start here? Philadelphia is the most used. And, and listen, listen, obvi- I, listen, obviously, you, you know me really well. And I, no, 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 being, no, no. And I'm yeah. not being results oriented. You know I know. I mean? oh, no, I'm no, not, no, like, I'm not that guy. You know what I mean? No, I know that. So. I know that. Because you, you brought up you brought up one really good example, and that's the Giants um, in, 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 uh, in 10. But the way we saw it is Philadelphia, they'd already been the most picked between them and Dallas. Sure. And they're going to they're gonna be slammed in nine. And – they are also going to be used in 10. We did not use Cincinnati and that really played right. into a big, that, you know, if we, if we had Cincinnati, we oh. didn't play incorrectly. Right. Um, it just, you know, it is what it is. 
um, above anything else, we wanted to have Kansas City in at least one of our entries past 14. Yeah. You know, even though 14 was our hammer with Dallas, you that's not where the pool ends. I mean, at least I don't want to plan for it to end there. Right. Um, Kansas City is a play in 15, 16, and 17. And to get there, you have to do a little bit of dropping, yeah. um, meaning you would like to have Philadelphia available. Otherwise, you would have to go – if you don't have Philadelphia, you have to go – uh, New England in nine and yeah. Giants in 10. Yeah. Now, the reason we didn't like that for one of our entries is we would have taken, if we were still in, we uh, with both of our entries, we 100% would have taken New England this week with one of them, yes. 100%. Because we're, we're not going to, we're not going to need two of them. Right. Um, we, we just don't. So we would have taken New England in one of them. And in the other one, we would have taken like uh, probably, yeah, we were taking Philly. And the reason we want to keep our Philly is one of our entries doesn't have Miami in 12. And, you know, it's kind of nice to have Philly for 12 and 13 to get to your Dallas pick and just, you know, have more options. And if you don't use them somehow, I mean, they're going to be contending for the one seed. They're going to be playing in 15 and 17 as well, where they're very good plays. So we wanted, but having Philly available for nine and 10. Oh, oh Phil, having, you, having Philly available in 10, make no mistake, is a freaking yeah. smash. I mean, well, it, well, it, well but it, it allows you to keep Kansas City. And yeah. that's what we, that's what we wanted more than anything else is yeah. Kansas City in 15 through 17. Yeah. Um, now the, the the other one and we talked about this was uh, the Giants in ten. Now this this was a tough one because well yeah. it's, it, well it's tough because you know what because the Giants were going to be probably end up being really chalky in ten at the end of the day. That's and and that's and that's why we couldn't take Philly is we really felt that we might take the Giants anyway, but they're gonna there's gonna be the people that are saving Buffalo for eleven or Thanksgiving, and the there's going to be a lot of those people that have already used Philadelphia. And if they, they're either going to use Kansas city or they have to drop. Um, and some of them will already use Philly, Buffalo and Kansas city. So they're forced to drop. And if they're sorting by point spread, which we saw last week or 10%, I mean, you got Atlanta at a four point favorite. They're 10% picked at, uh, I think 12 people. And you, you had Miami four picks and then you had a bunch of others, three, two, and one. I mean, Atlanta was picked the same about as the all the other teams combined, and you, you, I just have to expect. You know, I assume that was the case. The same thing is going to happen with the Giants at the current spreads because Miami's right there with them. But yeah. th those that have Miami, they're going to save them for twelve. It doesn't matter how chalky it is, yeah. especially for those that just want to advance. Um, and then after that, you're really dropping Las Vegas against against Indianapolis. Yeah. Um, no one's taken, I mean, San Francisco, but man, you got to, I mean, you got to use them you know, for week 12 or, or, or the end you, of the season. Mike, I'll tell you at the end of the day, you know, I, 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 you know, I keep forgetting, not keep forgetting, but the fact that you burn Tampa, right. Makes 10. I uh, even more, I guess. Well, ta more, well Tampa's you, done now. Tampa's only a two and a half point favorite um, in, in 10. Now that's, that's the updated line. Oh, Tampa's only two and a half. Yeah. Seattle? Isn't that incredible? That's that's that true. I don't see that. Yeah, yeah. Look, look on. I, I checked sports book uh, yesterday. Oh, They're two and a half point favorites. Um, so that what what you illustrated was the other route, but we felt that t if an entry taking Indian, uh, New England, and the Giants in consecutive weeks was way too chalky. Everybody has New England, and New England should be really chalky in circuit this week. But we would have done it anyway. I mean, because what are you going to do? You take the chalky pick or are you going to take the teams that are the most valuable? I mean, the, the, you, get, you have to pick between those two teams or you just drop. And, you know, you can't do that every week. We chose it for week eight. It didn't work out. If it did, it would have allowed us to take the best available after the, str the strongest group keep, and keep that strong group in one entry moving forward so we can push our – Kansas City out to 15 through 17 um you know dropping an 11 was an option we could have waited for that but you know Baltimore 
you know, you know, once you get so close, you know, Baltimore is going to be such a big favorite. It, it, it'd be really hard not to take at least one, but probably both of our entries on Baltimore if we got to 11, you know, to set up Buffalo with, you know, our, our insane run starting in 13. Um, and, and we knew that this, this was probably going to be the big, this was going to be the biggest risk we were going to take outside of like, you know, end game, like Christmas or the last week when things get wild and you, and you, maybe, you know, exactly who everyone's taking because it's obvious and you just, you know, you take it, you know, you take a pick them or something, just fucking go for it. Um, but this set up very obvious picks we felt moving forward at current spreads. And when it came down to it, nothing felt really good. Um, nothing felt safe. Nothing, nothing felt obvious. Um, and if anything, if the, the spreads hold, actually they moved in our favor. Um, if we had advanced, Philadelphia became a bigger favorite. Buffalo became a bigger favorite. Kansas City became a bigger favorite. And uh, New England dropped. And, like, that was absolutely perfect. We are going to take New England anyway, but that might spook some people to gravitate toward the big favorites. Um, it, that might be a good transition to, you know, go into this week. Um, but, you know, there, there are no regrets, but you're not going to believe this. Um, you know, I say these things and they're like, Mike, you're never going to do that. You know, well, you know, you're, you're, you're just exaggerating. You're mad. Sunday was the absolute worst football viewing experience I'd ever had in my entire life. I mean, it just took absolutely everything out of me. Um, my, my, I think my, my raw, all things being equal EV in, in my entries that I lost was like 50,000 or so. I, I think my entries were, with, were were worth at least double that, at least. Um, in, in my other pool, um, I, I, I took the same exact strategy. I had four entries left out of 118 or something. Uh, we have doubles in 12 and 13. And uh, just to run through it really quickly, I'm like, well, I'm not taking Dallas because you might need them for 12, 13, 14. Uh, Buffalo, I'm going to take them in 12 because it's double picks. And uh, I took one Philly, one Jacksonville, and two Indianapolis. So I lost, I lost three entries there. Uh, no regrets. I, I, I was setting up, um, you, know, you know, the hammer there as well. And, it, it, you know, it just didn't work out. Um, and, and, and that's fine. Uh, but the way in which I lost the games on Sunday was just too much. You know, I, I, I skipped church. I skipped trunk or treat. I got the, the, the Jacksonville game was just crushing. I mean, they're up. They're up seven nothing and first to go on the one interception. Um, they're like eighty five percent or something to win the final two minutes. They lose the Atlanta loss. The Atlanta win was just crushing. Uh, that was extremely deflating um, because even though I hadn't, I hadn't advanced yet with Indianapolis because I hadn't played, yeah, a loss like that just really feels like it's going to hurt me. Not because it's like you know you know being superstitious, but. I really wanted those Atlanta people out. It, it was a bigger group. And I think there's a very good chance. I told my partner, it's going to be really painful when this circuit thing ends. I'm going to look back and I'm going to see who the winners picked in week eight. And he's like, dude, don't do it. It's going to, they're going to, they're going to have picked Atlanta. And I, I think there's such a good chance that whoever picked beneath the top three, I, I think that we're, we're going to, we're going to see a lot of winners. Um, I think a lot of the winners in the end will have picked, lower because they allow themselves to keep these teams a little bit longer some of them had to do it so th that I have to say that um, no one was boxed into it um, but everyone had a choice to take one of the big favorites but setting yourself up for later I think I think it's gonna be very fruitful um, but after the Indianapolis game couldn't do it uh, I turned my I, I shut down my direct tv and I'm done uh, All right. So I, moving I on, <laughs> we, no. I really did. I really I, did. I, I, so I, so I lied. I said in, the, in these podcasts, as they get down later in the season, they're going to be shorter or whatever. We're through 11, 40, 40 minutes. We haven't even talked about week nine yet. So yeah. but the good did thing is I, the week, that? the I week, my, the week turned, nine, the week. I turned my direct TV off. Did you catch that? I did. I did. I did. I really did. I, 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 I thought you were going to say I, really I, you, you you disconnected the service and threw the TV out the window. I thought that was going to be. Uh, no, I just I only threw a chair. I only threw a chair, but it was outside. All right, so week uh, week right. nine. So let's so let's um, go let's go yeah. to week nine. So again, I have Survivor yeah. Grid up, and uh, just again, with a little my little plug. Uh, if you are a true DFS subscriber, you could you could customize your own EVs based on the 
on your own uh, popularity adjustments, which by now, I mean, very important to do. Very by now, do. by now, you, sh you guys should be down to a reasonable number of people in your pool where you can adjust based on what you think people are going to do. Um, but for now, we're going to start with the EV calculations on on Survivor Grid, um, and we're going to do the same process as before. We're going to go through uh, by by EV, talk about you know what, what teams are are playable, what teams aren't, and I'm going to try my best to you know just to compass all pools, but then we'll talk about ours as well. So for, first of all, you have Philadelphia. They're, they rate like a 1.14. And for a lot of the reasons we discussed earlier, Philadelphia to me seems like a pretty easy fade because you kind of want to play, kind of want to, I mean, playing them in 10 is extremely strong. But what, what I have learned is that you should always give these teams with the really high EVs a little more respect Um than, than, than you might otherwise. Um, uh, cause sometimes you, you get a little bit too cute and just say, you know what, the EV is really high, but I really prefer to fade them. Um, in this particular case though, like for week 10, we've already discussed that week 10 can be some, some, somewhat annoying. Like, especially if you play, actually playing Tampa turned out, like you said, to be probably a good idea because they're, they're, they're going to be like very, very, uh, very, very, uh, uh, very small favorite in week 10. But I do think that if you have Philly available, that that's probably a save. And I'll talk about Buffalo in the same same breath, and then you can talk about both those. Then we'll yeah. to the next ones. Um, and then I, I think Buffalo is very similar. Obviously, a huge chance to win, and obviously strong EV as a result of it, and strong EV because they're not going to be highly owned because they just have such value in the future and in in almost every week. If you want to know the truth, I mean, I, I think the way Buffalo is going to play out is they're just going to get dripped along the way, you know, like 10, yeah, yeah. a week. And then whoever's got them left in 14 just gets to drop them on everybody. Um, so I, agree. I feel as though that if you can save Buffalo, that you should do it. Um, so that's my, that's my, my comment on those two teams. What do you think of Philly and Buffalo? Um, I, uh, I, I like Philly. This is tough because I like it for my, you know, one of, you know, my, one of my pools. Um, I don't have a problem with Philly because, there's e there's easier ways to drop um, in uh, in ten than in some of these other weeks where you would like you know you'd prefer to have Buffalo or Kansas City um, or you know Baltimore can't be used but um, you know we'll we'll get to the other teams I like this week as well but I, I you can get away with taking Philly because next week you can just drop the Giants I mean they'll, they'll be they'll be a little bit chalky but you know, it, it really, it re this really comes down to, you know, unique pools now. Um, what people have left, um, you know, map, map your uh, opponent's entries. Look at their, te uh, look at their tendencies. Um, if, if someone's been ultra conservative in some spots, they're, you know, they're more or less, Eric uh, talked about this last week, they're probably just going to continue. You know, that's the strategy. That's fine. They, they you know, they want to survive, survive in advance. Um, I, I I think that's going to lean a lot into the decision making, or you know what your the leans are. But between Buffalo and Philly, I would you know I would take I would it's not even a question. I would I would take Philadelphia every single time and save Buffalo for the same reasons that you said. So fortunately for me, I burned both Philly and Buffalo in my last pool, so I don't have to worry about that. Makes what it easy. Worry, what I do have to worry about is is these is these three these next three. Okay, so yeah, uh, we'll talk about Kansas City, Cincinnati, New England. So. Yeah, and just the guys to give you an idea, like I, I, I already burned Miami in the pool I have remain, remaining. But we'll get to all those the bow wows later, I guess. But for yeah. me, my entire pool of, of applicants for this week is Cincinnati, Kansas City, and and New England. And I, I guess I'll I guess I go with all three three of them. Like for me, like Kansas City is look they have strong EV, but as we talked about, they have significant future value. And 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 first of all, in first of all in week ten. They, they have stronger future value. They, they, they are very, very strong. They're a strong play. They're one of the top, if not the top, um, overall winning chance team. Um, and it's, 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 it's hard to kind of avoid that reality, you know, especially if you've already burned other stuff. You know, like if you burn Philly, for example, you know, you, you might want to keep Kansas City in your quiver for 10, even though you know, the real thing that you want to save Kansas City for is 15. Okay. So yeah. I think in both cases, Kansas City for me is probably third. I mean, they're definitely third for me, even though, again, it's like 
maybe it's my OCD, but when I see them at like 1.05 and the other two teams I'm considering below them, it's just a little annoying, you know, to, to, to drop, to drop like that. Um, but I just, the answer I have to be perfectly frank, Michael is not all that great. So, so at the very, at the very worst, at the very least, I have to do something. I have to save Kansas yeah. City for 15. You know what I mean? Like if I can't do anything else, I at least want to save some kind of hammer. And I do have Dallas available so I can save them to 14. So if I, and if, and if I, and I'm going to totally get aggressive in 11 and save Baltimore. So be, so if I, if I'm going to save Baltimore in 11 and, and Dallas and, and for 14 and, and Casey for 15, that's at least something I could do to increase the strength of the energy. Oh, okay. Well, that, so, I mean, you basically just said who you're picking then. Um, right. So, so, I mean, I, I well, may, well, I'm not sure about that. So, 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 so Kansas city. So, so then like for me, I mean, it's between Cincinnati and New England. Right. So, so you, I've been, and it's funny, like you got to keep your, your mind open, but pretty much the whole season, I'm like, all right, I'm going to be playing Cincinnati nine. I'm going to be playing Cincinnati and nine. No problem. I'm going to be playing Cincinnati and nine, but now we get to nine and I'm torn, right? Cause you have Cincinnati as definitely a higher EV play than new England, but right. So if I play Cincinnati in nine, then I have an issue in 11 because as yes, I mentioned yep. in 11, I would prefer to not play Baltimore. And if I'm yep. not playing Baltimore, I don't have Buffalo. I don't have I don't have Philly, right? And if I burn Cincinnati, now I'm in a world of shit, right? Now, now I have New England, which you know is definitely a possibility, right? Um, I wouldn't play Kansas City in that spot. I wouldn't play Green Bay in that spot. Stupid stuff like Atlanta, you know what I mean? So basically, it's possible that I could play like a low owned, maybe not even a low owned, like like new england team 11 which feels really just kind of dirty right but i get the big well i get the better winning chances in, in week nine right or i could go play new england now drop in ev and then what that opens up for me in 11 is cincinnati in 11 okay cincinnati yeah. in 11 having already been people have burned them back like when you burned them and before and then you know, you're going to get a 17% X or whatever burning in this week. The, 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 the EV of Cincinnati in 11 is going to be at least the way I'm looking at it significantly better than anybody that's not Baltimore, you know, like absolutely. absolutely. So that's, that's, absolutely. That, that's, that's the decision that me myself uh, I'm working on in my pool is whether it goes Cincinnati nine, New England 11 or New England nine, Cincinnati 11. And we're, 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 we're back and forth on it, but, but those are the three teams that I'm looking at, KC, New England, and Kansas City. So tell me what you think about those three teams. Uh, so I'll start where you left off on week 11. Um, again, this is you, – you have not just map your, your opponent's entries, but most importantly map your own. And this is a very important week, week 11. Uh, th there's going to be people that have used both Buffalo and Baltimore by this point, or they'll only have one left. Um, if you want to say Buffalo for 12 or say Baltimore uh, – for 16 to 17, like Eric uh, was discussing, you got to drop beneath that. And drop beneath that's in a kind of challenge. There's not a lot of options. Philadelphia, most people won't have. Um, you know, Cincinnati, the same, New, which is going to make New England very chalky. Um, I mean, in Circa, going into this past week, only one person out of 125 have taken them. So, oh, really? uh, New, yeah, I mean, New England is going to be very, very chalky in 11 at the current spread. So just, just sorting by spread. Um, if people are looking ahead one week or saving Baltimore, they have to take someone. And if they don't have Cincinnati available, they're taking New England. So um, this kind of like answers the question on if you should use New England or not. If, if you don't want to be on a chalky group, you know, just take, take New England in nine and then save your Philly for 11. Um, is, is definitely an option. We had that penciled in. As, we don't have Cincinnati, so we didn't think of it from. And, the and then again, it must be nice. If you, it must be nice if you have Philly available. Like I said, I mean, correct. Like, yeah, just push it. I mean, we we, yeah, we, we took the, we took yeah. the easy way out with Philly last week, but it's like yeah. the, there's the old Meineke commercial. You could pay me now or pay me later. You know, it's not so and, easy. And, and that and that was one of the things we didn't take Philly. It's like, well, right. we can take Phil in you know, eleven if we really wanted to. Like, if no one right. gets knocked out in nine or ten in, in Circa we can just save our Baltimore for later and take one yeah. Baltimore and one Philly. Absolutely. But you have to, you have to take someone else to have that option. So if you have Cincinnati that you have two choices, you're going to take them right now. Yep. Or you're going to, or you're going to take them in 11 or not um, at all. <laughs> uh, 
I think that's a terrible option, though. I, I would never, I would never take that option. I, I, I think that's a huge mistake. the The only way I would not do that is if wait, which you which have, which is the which is the mistake? Since taking since he now or taking them in the middle? Never, never taking them. Oh, to I, never I, take I, them. Okay. The the only you know there obviously is a way for that to happen. You get to eleven and right. you know something, there's three something people, opens there's, up. Right. Well, there's there's three people left, and you take and, and you're the only one with Baltimore, and they have to drop like New England. I mean, obviously you, you take Baltimore, but. Uh, I always speak in terms of there's a bunch of people left, whatever a bunch means. Um, you have to take – if your pool's not going to end until after week 14 or 15. Yeah. And, and, and the way you think of this is look at the teams that you're taking. If you're taking really big favorites that people have available. Yeah. If, you, if, if your teams win and you get to that week, there's still going to be people left. The well, only way is- for these po- – Cool to end if, if if you get off the well, off the high pick teams and they all start losing. Well, not only that, but the point is that is I'm, I'm making is that if you're below Baltimore, right? Let's say you don't have Philly or Buffalo available. Like Cincinnati is going to be so clearly the best EV play of all the rest. Oh yeah. Simply because like like even let's just say even if for some reason like New England steams up to six, you know, and Cincinnati stays at six. Remember, New England, like you're saying, is like 99 percent available. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, and since uh-huh. he's just going to get dumped, so 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 since he is going to be the best non-Baltimore, Buffalo, Philly EV play of the week, you know, so yeah. to 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 eschew them, to get rid of, to have them available, and and not play them at all would probably be pretty, like you said, probably pretty foolish. So the the simple way to look at it is if you're not if you have Cincinnati available, and you're not going to take buffalo or baltimore in 11 save cincinnati for 11 if you're going to take buffalo or baltimore in 11 as it, as it is right now and you have cincinnati take them in nine and that will allow you to whatever buffalo baltimore philadelphia you have that allows you to keep those teams going forward because even if it even if you don't feel that your pool is going to go into week 16 or 17 baltimore could st- you know it could still be played in 13 or 14 and if you don't have dallas you're going to need, you know, having Baltimore in 13 or 14 is going to be a really, really nice option. I um, but if, I, um, I, I, I like, I like New England a lot, though. I, I, I just, it's their best play the rest of the season. I don't care what the EV says. It, it, you are uh, the EV. You're losing temporarily. You're gaining by, by saving your Buffalo, Baltimore, Philly, and in some cases Cincinnati and in, in, in Kansas City. I mean, saving those teams. Is, is more important than whatever EV you're, you're, you're giving up this week. The um, I didn't get to anything else on the board. The only, I will, I will just, I will just, I'll, I'll turn the rest of the board over to you after one observation. Yeah. There was one team that I was looking at and I was really hoping they wouldn't be in play because then I would consider playing them. But it turns out they didn't get the steam that, that I thought they'd get. I was really trying to make up an excuse to play Arizona but but yeah, um, we, mm-hmm. but but it didn't. I think couldn't. I can't. I can't. Can't quite do it at minus one and a half or whatever. No, you know, uh, two weeks ago we had Arizona as our possibility for our aggressive path, and you know things. You know things change, and that's why when we make our picks, we want a big group of, of picks so that when some don't, you know, come through for you as being a possibility, you still have other options. Um, my general thoughts on the week are. Don't take Kansas City. Uh, I, I mean, uh, that, that I, I think it's a terrible pick. Um, you're much better off taking them in 10. Um, and having them for 15 through 17 is just is going to be very important. I mean, they're, they're essentially a standalone team in 15. I mean, just sort of by 15. I mean, no one's going to have Buffalo. No one's going to have Philly. Uh, Minnesota will be available. But look at the drop after that. I mean, yeah. New Orleans versus Atlanta, the Jets versus Detroit, you know, no, you know, Dallas, no one's going to have, uh, you know, like we're at three point favorites. You, if your pool is going to get to that point, I mean, yeah, some people, I'm sure there's a bunch of people laughing. I mean, oh, this, and it's pretty incredible. 125 entries in Circa and then only one person gets knocked out and they have two entries. It, it, but, you know, there's going to be a bunch of the people that were laughing. I mean, I don't take it the wrong way. I don't care. Um, they're going to get to week 15. And they're going to, and as it is right now, they're going to be in a three point favorite. The same thing that I was in week eight. And, you know, if, you know, talking about hedging, uh, I'd rather hedge a 14 point favorite um, than I would a three point favorite. 
Oh yeah. Um, you know, so mm-hmm. like that, that, go, that went into our thinking as well. I mean, you get down, there's 10 people after I don't hedging a three point favorite. It's not very fun. Uh, hedging a 14 point favorite with that middle is very fun. Um, so, you, you know, don't take Kansas city. I, I, I think, I think the plays are Philadelphia, uh, since if you have Cincinnati, you, uh, play them now or save them till 11, but you have to use them. Yep. Um, you know, at, at the current spreads, New England, I love New England. Um, but you can always use New England 11, but they're going to be very chalky. Uh, don't take Buffalo at all. And don't take Kansas city. You, you'll, you'll just regret it. I mean, you're, you, you're, I'll tell you what, you're going to go further in the pool than me. Um, but you're probably going to lose just like me too. Yeah. You might get there, but like, you know, you, in the end, if you added up the point spreads versus what I would have had, um, my chances would have been better um because of the back end strength uh but you know i i got to relax for the, 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 way, listen, the, way, the, the way i put it to my partner was this you know when we're talking about you know a, a, like a new england K versus cincinnati or cincinnati versus new england or whatever i yeah. said listen i promise you this that 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 in the long run if you run like a million sims you'll end up making more money you know, do it, doing it, doing it the, the the New England Cincinnati way than the Cincinnati New England way. Oh, and you're also scooping. I mean, like, yeah. you, you, when you think of this, this is not this is not a poker tournament where you're getting you know it, it pays the final table. It, this is first only, and yeah, the the, pa- the path that we like to set, we set the same path last year. We made it easy, got knocked out week one of all. all of our, we took three teams, two apiece, got knocked out week one, all three of them. We made it very simple. We had the exact same strategy week one this year, more or less. Yeah was slightly more favorited teams and uh, we we well, we picked two teams and one, one loss one one and uh luckily one of them came back you know so the these podcasts have been a lot more fun you know actually being in it yeah but absolutely. Uh, you, you you scoop a lot more when you set up this end game you know again yeah. i would you know, they two years ago they chopped it like 30 something ways um and at one point the way i picked there was one week where we almost got down to 24 people in week 11. Uh, but there, there was a Hail Mary at the end and an overtime win. And they happened with a minute of each other. And I was on neither of those, those teams. And, you know, that, that was like my week to go, you know, to, to go for it. It just didn't work out. And they ended up chopping for more than more ways than there would have been if those two teams lost. Hey, hey, Mike, they hey lost. Mike, Mike in Kansas, can you play on DraftKings or no? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because uh, I didn't play the the the, the, the his, I know DraftKings had a survivor pool this year. I didn't play it. I was wondering how many people are left in that. How that all worked out. I didn't I, play it. I don't know how many. People I I didn't play I didn't play it either. Let me get to a couple. Of, do not take Miami. Um, if, you know you just can't take Miami this week. But the the other thing to look at is you you always at least have to look one week forward. And you know so let's let's look at week ten. Uh, and, and sort you know look at it's the same teams. Uh, you know. Philadelphia, Buffalo, Kansas City. Uh, the Giants are going to be very chalky. So if you don't want to be on a chalky Giants, you know, it'd be really nice to have Philadelphia or Kansas City for week 10. Um, I, I would prefer oh. to have Philadelphia here so you can have Kansas City later. But I, I, I unfortunately am probably going to end up having to play Vegas at week 10. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll and, 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 that, and, and that's, you know, that's a play too, but it, 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 it you know, it's just silly not to look but, at it but, now and then but, get there and be like, "Oh my God, what am I going to do?" But, but you but know, it's was, actually, but you know, it's actually interesting. I was considering that, that that my original path was playing tap in ten, but in a weird, yeah. weird, sick way, they're going to be down to two and a half. But 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 if if I don't want to play Kansas City in ten, there's yeah. no one else for me to play. You know what I mean? Because I'll have Tampa mm-hmm. in Vegas, and Vegas will be a hundred percent available. And Tampa will be less. So I might have yeah, but you, anyway. you, you, you can't. But you can't take Tampa Bay that week. You you need to hope that they figure the shit out. Yeah. Even if they don't, even if they don't, you know, week thirteen and week seventeen. I mean, that division's still in play for them. They're they're probably still the favorite. And uh, you know, they're not they're not more than fifty percent. But I, I assume that they're, they're the favorite to win that division at three and five or whatever they're at. Um, you know, see what happens. You just got you, you just got to drop to like Chicago or, yeah, or, I thought or of Atlanta. That you know, you, that's what you have to do because you, you need to hope that Tampa Bay is going to be a great play in seventeen, right? Or 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 you got to hope that they're going to be a play a good play in thirteen. Yeah. Um, well, so, and, the, and these these are like you said these are the these are the the I listen 
like I said, you have no one to blame but yourself. Like I have no one to blame but myself for these yeah. dilemmas, right? Because oh, I, played, it, it, well, I played Buffalo, I played Philly. I didn't have to do that. It's you know, and then now, now this is when you have to, you, know, you have to pay the piper, and that's the way it goes sometimes, you know. Last comment for me. This is the point of the season where there's a lot more clarity in the point spreads. Yes. They're a lot truer. And the beginning of the season, it was incredible. If you look at the entire season on, on the point spreads that you can bet on. There were, it was insane. There were like less than 20 games the entire season where someone was favored by more than 10. And I think it might have been around 10 teams games only. That's it. Right now, look at Buffalo and, and Buffalo, Philly, and Kansas City. They, they're favorited by more than 10. Like every week. In more, <laughs> in, in more, in more, in more games than what it was in week one for the entire season. It really is. It's, it's, I mean, I mean, just look at it. Go, go, go to week one and, and, and look at it. It's really fascinating. Um, and obviously, you know, they got to put, you know, no, you know, they put numbers out and then you see who's really bad. And that's why to be in the beginning of the season, and I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, I deserve to give myself a, a pat on the back, um, you know, for after having a really rough week. You know, we were betting big on Philadelphia this year. Um, we were hoping that, they were going to be a great team. And that's why we didn't take them in week one. You know, again, not many people did, but, uh, you know, Baltimore, the same thing. We wanted, we, we were hoping that, you know, they would be a really good team and, and those, and they would become great picks. Same thing with Kansas city. I mean, it, you know, it was hard to take them in week one, but you know, some people did. Um, there's a lot of different ways to approach this, but at, at the, at the bare minimum, you got to look a little bit out. Um, because it'd be very silly, like, you know, for the people that took Dallas in week seven, and then they get to week eight. And I mean, it was incredible. How could you ever take Dallas in seven when you're going to get to week eight, where the only three teams to take are Dallas, Philadelphia, and Buffalo? I mean, how could you, how can you possibly put yourself in that position? Now, a lot of those people are still in and I'm out, but the, the, the point is you, you got to give yourself the best chance to keep advancing deep into the season and use, you know, using a team that you would have much rather had for the next week, like Dallas and eight would have been a much better decision. Even if you would have lost with whoever else you took in seven, whether it was New England, you know, you would have lost with, or if you took Las Vegas or Miami, you would have won. Um, so look forward a little bit to figure out, you know, wh what you're going to have. If there's a hundred people up in your pool, this thing's going past, you know, week thir uh, 14. It, it just is. So make sure you're in a spot where you're going to be comfortable and you're going to like it. Otherwise, you're going to be on the same three-point favorites that I decided to take willingly this past week. All right, guys. That's, a, as they say in the industry, that's a shitload. Um, and and one thing that um, – ooh, did Mike disappear? No, you're not. And one other thing I forgot to mention, for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, in the YouTube channel in the description, there's a link to the TrueDFS Discord. And within the Discord, we do have a specific channel for um, Survivor Pool stuff. And it's become pretty active since we started doing these. And there's a couple of people with some really, really good questions in there. Uh, Mike, you should probably link in there. I know people were, were asking stuff, you know, so you probably, if, you know, if you want to go in there and chime in to, to whatever. And yeah, for those of you yes, who are watching uh, this. Send me a link. I'd be happy to do Well, that. it's right. It's, you got to go. I, I don't even know how to send the link. But it's in the 2DFS, like, YouTube page. You'll see, like, link to in the link there okay. or whatever you'll see like discord link within the description or something but i'll, I'll figure okay. out it. um okay, right uh, i will i will make sure to post in discord eventually who i have it's going to be either cincy or new england i almost promise you that and um so i'll either be really rooting really hard for cincy or really rooting against them that's that's that's, that's, that's the way survivor goes good luck everybody. Uh, new, uh, new england and philadelphia for me at this week all right good luck everybody see you next week Bye bye